Hello everyone, my next review from the 80s is one of these uh, holiday slasher films. This is called New Year's Evil in 1980. Of course we had the Christmas horror. Then of course we have to have a New Year's Eve horror. Directed by Emmett Austin, written by Leonard Neubauer, released December of 1980. Tagline, A Celebration of the Macabre. Here's the storyline. During the New Year's Eve celebration, a punk rock and new wave show host gets a phone call saying that New Year's that when New Year's Eve strikes in each time zone, someone will be murdered and she'll be the last one. Here's the cast. Roz Kelly as Diane Sullivan, Kip Niven as Richard Sullivan, Chris Wallace as Lieutenant Clayton, Grant Kramer as Derek Sullivan. Louisa Moritz as Sally, Jed Mills as Ernie, Tefi O'Connell as Jane, John Green as Sergeant Green, and Terry Copley as a teenage girl. And the cast goes on. Okay, we have, like I mentioned before, I'm a big 80s cheese horror fan. I love the 80s comedies, whatever. I'm a big horror fan from the 80s. And what I like about this film is you have the Silent Night, Deadly Night. Uh, you have all these Santa Claus horror movies. But i never really seen a New Year's Eve, a New Year's horror. And here it is. I've never seen it before, believe it or not. I just watched it a couple months ago, and I finally get a chance to review it. It's, called, it's, it's labeled as a horror thriller. Um, I'm thinking more of a thriller with a touch of horror. Basically, as I mentioned, it's during a New Year's Eve celebration, a punk rock and new wave show, and the host gets a phone call saying that everyone's going to die over the world on New Year's. So that's where the story begins. You have Roz Kelly, she plays Diane Sullivan. Her son, played by Grant Kramer, is Derek Sullivan. Her husband, Richard Sullivan, played by Kip Niven, or some of the casts, uh, some of the important casts in this movie. And, but, no one knows who the killer is, until the very end, of course. That's how the 80s, that's how most films work today. So, yeah, it, it follows this guy, um, the killer, who's going around town, you know, making phone calls, and, of course, killing people. And then he finally gets to the location to where the horror host is. That's uh, Diane, uh, Diane Sullivan. So there you go. That's basically what the story is. It's about... It, it's like a, a, a uh, an action drama thriller of touch of horror, I guess you can say. It's not a full-blown horror, but you get the point. It's a nut job on the loose, uh, killing people, and uh, his final victim is going to be the host of the New Year's Celebration. So there you go. It's pretty interesting. Um, I liked it. Grant Kramer, you might know him from uh, other stuff from the 80s, um, especially the clown, killer clowns from outer space. I met Grant Kramer, by the way. He's a cool dude. But you see his face, you're going to know who he is. He's been in a lot of the films from the 80s. And, of course, Kip Niven played uh, Richard Sullivan. He's a fantastic actor. And, of course, Roz Kelly. The whole cast was great. Well shot, well acted. A cool storyline. You know, nothing spectacular, but it was fun to watch. It's an early 80s classic, in my opinion. This is Gruesome Herzog. I give his film a 6.5 out of 10. Never seen it. I did now. It's cool. The music's neat. The clothes. You know, my era. So if you like the 80s, if you lived, if you lived through the 80s, you'll definitely enjoy this film. This is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.